A new study shows that Switzerland's glaciers have lost more than half their volume in less than 100 years. And this long, hot summer in Europe has accelerated the loss of ice. Imogen Folks reports on the consequences for lives and livelihoods. High in the Alps, the mountains are moving. Ancient ice caps are cracking and melting. Richard, a guide like his father and grandfather before him, has to adapt. The permafrost on some mountains uh, is, is melting off and then you have more rockfall, you have more crevasses on the glacier because uh, there is not enough snow from the winter and uh, it makes the, our job more, more challenging, I have to say. You have to think more about risk management. Across Switzerland, rockfalls triggered by melting permafrost have closed climbing routes. But the changes started long before this hot summer. Since the 1930s, the glaciers have lost more than half their volume. 20 years ago, this glacier was actually much bigger. And you can see behind me, the rock is emerging where the ice has split apart in the last few years. And if you take a moment to listen, that rushing sound is the ice melting and pouring down into the valleys. So we're probably one of the first people walking here. The ground up here hasn't been seen for thousands of years. Now the remaining ice has been wrapped up to protect it, a desperate sticking plaster on the wound of climate change. Glaciers are tourist attractions and the thaw threatens livelihoods. So when we constructed this chairlift, we had to dig in five, seven meters into the ice because the ice was on this level and this was 23 years back. Look in my back where the glacier is now. Glaciers store the winter snow and release it gently in summer. Water for Europe's rivers and Europe's crops. Scientists say global warming is bringing that natural process to an end. End of the century, we will only have ice at the highest part. So above 3,500 meters, uh, there will be still some ice in, in 100 years. But all what we see here, this mainly will be gone. If this ice is gone, there won't be any water anymore. Latest predictions show keeping the global temperature rise below 1.5 degrees centigrade could save some of the ice. But achieving that will need a real effort to tackle climate change. Without it, Europe's glaciers could be gone in decades. Imogen Folks, BBC News, Zermatt.